So this is going to be the first of a couple of videos showing how to make a backbore reamer and how to copy a backbore by making the reamer that's the size of a, a known backbore, let's say. So I picked a backbore for this that's your basic short shank C trumpet backbore because those are a lot, quite a bit different than most backbores. They start out, they're shorter, so generally they, the whole taper is different. You can't really use a any other trumpet back bore reamer to make a short shank because you have to flare the big end out. So a new back bore reamer is the best way to do it. So you can take your mouthpiece that you're going to copy, make a plastic mold of it. This is that heat, heat uh, activated plastic, moldable plastic. Works real good for getting a rough outline of what you have. So I marked it off every quarter inch, then I measure that. Then, uh, as you can see, I've already stepped it off. This is my mandrel that I'm making. And I've stepped it off 10 thousandths larger than these measurements were here. Because the way we're gonna copy it is we're gonna use, we're gonna use the form of the original backbore to shape this down to exactly what the original backbore is. It just so happens that these markings make a, a, as close as I've ever seen to a straight taper, because usually backboards are not a straight taper, but this one is pretty straight. So we'll see what, well, it doesn't really matter because we're not gonna compute the taper, we're not gonna do any measurements. This is, all of these steps are 10 thousandths big, and I'm gonna take a file and file all these down and use ink to see how well I match the original backbore. So now I'm cleaned up. I cleaned all my steel chips, which are nasty, and got everything out of the way so I have access to this. And uh, you're gonna use some good files, Swiss pattern, um, whatever they call Swiss pattern, Swiss cut file. We're gonna knock the high spots off of here. Just getting the, so it's less stepped. Works pretty good and goes pretty fast. Let's take a peek. So, I'm about halfway there. The file makes kind of a rough cut. It's fine, because we're gonna polish this up when we get close. Right now, I'm just knocking these high spots off. You can, it'll take about five minutes, I guess. So that's a couple more minutes of filing. I still got a little bit of steps. And remember those steps are 10 thousandths big. So um, I'll go a little bit more, then we'll put some ink on it and see where we're at. 
So you take a, a dry erase marker, put a stripe, take your backboard that you're copying, nice and easy, just press it in, turn it, turn it just a little bit. And see where it hits. Okay, I'm hitting right there and right there. So now I need to I need to take more material off there and there. And I'm pretty close. You definitely more, a little more material has to go there than there. So that's my next step. So I'm going to hit it down here. Hit up here. Try it again. Take your ink. Make a stripe. See where we're at. Every time you do this, it'll go a little farther up. If it goes too far up and hits my little edge, then I just got to pull it out and turn more. It's okay if you miscalculate a little bit. So I got it. It's still hitting there and there and a little bit right there. So keep going. Check it again. You do this over and over and over. And then once you get it good, it's really a good copy. Way better of a system than measuring can do. So I need to hit there, 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 maybe a little bit right there. A little bit right through here, a little bit here and a little bit down here on the very end. I'm going to start using a smoother file now. Take a stripe. See where we're at. See I'm a little closer. Hitting right there still. Yeah, just there now. I don't have to take anything off really there. Just there and maybe there. You can focus where you want to hit by tilting the file this way. If I want to hit an exact spot, tilt the file that way and just do it. If I want to hit a spot there, tilt the file this way and get exactly where you want. Let's check it again. Take a stripe. Actually pretty fun. Ooh, there and here. Right there and right there. Take a stripe. Hmm. Hit right here, right here, and right there. So, yeah, there, there, 
maybe a little there, 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 and there. That's where I'm gonna focus. I'm gonna focus here. I'm going to focus here. Take a stripe. Check it. Okay, looks like I'm here, there, there, there. Kind of this whole, from here, this whole area there, and still this area here needs to be hit. See where my, my marks are now? <clears throat> I still have to hit a little bit there, quite a bit right here, and a tiny bit right there. That looks like it might be an aberration. I'm gonna focus there, this kind of broad area, and then the very top of that. where we're at we're getting kind of close I've been doing this about 10 minutes right now okay so there 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 kind of equally spaced marks yeah there 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 now I'm not gonna I'm gonna just focus on there and there and there and there like I'm not going to hit in the middle of here at all. Some of these times I know that I have to take the whole thing down a little bit, but I'm getting close. So I'm just going to hit right where the right where the marks where the ink is gone. There, 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 there. And I might switch to this kind of a file. I'm going to switch to a rounded. See how this is rounded so I can get a little exact focus on those. Clean that up with a smooth file. Take a stripe. Let's see what we got. Hmm. Looks like. Right here, right there. And I'm guessing I have a hit here and there, and this all might, maybe a little bit right there. There, there, and there. Not here. We're going to hit it pretty quick. Okay, this is two stripes later, 
And I'm showing I need to hit right there, right there, right there, right there, right there, and then right up there. Not here, not there. Check my memory. Yeah, right here. Right here. Check my memory again. Yeah, right, all this area right here, not there. This all right there. Periodically, you have to clean your file. Take a strike. See where we're at. We're almost hitting my ledge. Ooh, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to give myself a little bit more room. Looks like maybe. Maybe not. So I'm hitting. Here, 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 there, 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 there. Looks like I have to do everything from about there to there and the very end. Nothing up here though. Okay, I'm getting really close. Cause I'm hitting like, I'm taking sort of every, there, 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 there. I'm hitting really close. And that kind of means that my surface is just a little too rough. So I'm hitting about every eighth of an inch. That means that, you know, my, I need to start making it more of a polished surface. Yeah. So we're getting really close. So after polishing it with sandpaper, it's real smooth, pretty smooth right now. This is where, oh, there we are. So I just got to sand again all the spots where it's shiny and try to avoid sanding where, it's, where the ink is. So I'm going to do that in steps. First, I'm going to sand up here. Then I'm going to stand there, then there, then maybe there. Then I'll check it again. Uh, take another stripe. We're getting close. So. Ah, totally the opposite. So now I don't have to do any sanding any up here. I just get a sand there. I don't have to do down here. Just mainly right there. And I'm just going to hit from there to there. Maybe a tiny bit there and check it again. If I can find my sandpaper. So the sandpaper was in my hand. I used this purple 400 grit and you kind of fold it up to make narrow areas so you can focus your sanding. That may have done it. Okay, we made a stripe. Let's check it now. Woo! 
looking good. I just got to sand kind of, maybe I hit this end a little bit. The whole thing should come down just, just a polish. Maybe not quite so much right here. Mostly there, mostly there, and still hit a little bit through there. Don't have to take my chop at this point. That may have done it. Let's see what we got. Yeah, I'm still gonna take some more off there. Nothing there, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave that alone. Just hit that a little bit up there and there. When we get really close, we're gonna to go to a finer sandpaper and get this thing to be really polished. Hmm, still got a hit here. Mainly there, nothing there. Yeah, definitely not there. Just, well, here and the very top, but I'm gonna leave that alone, I'm just gonna hit here. And I think I'm gonna get a new piece of sandpaper. Actually, I'm switching to 600 grit instead of 400. This might be enough. Smooth it out all the way up to the top. Looking good. Make a stripe. Test. Ooh, that's good. I'm gonna take a little bit more. I'm gonna leave this top alone. Take a little bit more than this whole area, just, just to get it smooth. I'm not even gonna be trying to change the shape. I'm just gonna smooth it. I think, it, I'm just not gonna spend much time right there, because There you go. It's good. I think I'm gonna leave it. I might, yeah, I'm just gonna leave it. It would have been nice. I don't know, somehow I got a little more on the throat end than I have on the holder end. 
but it's fine. I have enough room to hold it. I can hold it with that much. I'd like another, about another quarter of an inch to grab it, but yeah, this will be fine. Um, I think it's smooth, smooth enough. Maybe I'll use some scratch pads next to really get it smooth and shiny. The shinier and smoother, the better. But this is smooth enough, actually. Good. I have a little bit of space here, which I want. I think the reason this is hitting here is because the throat on this mouthpiece is a little off center, but this is good. So now the next step is we have to, we have to harden this. This is made out of oil one, O one tool steel, which you harden by heating and then quenching an oil, quenching oil. Then we cut with a grinder half of this way to make it into a that kind of a shape like that you do that on the grinder so on the next video i'm going to harden it because that's kind of that's kind of something that that's an eye opener and then we'll grind it and then we'll be done